Hey, my friends, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine, and it's Thursday night, and we're gonna make something, make something, make something. Um, I hope you've had a good week. If you're watching replay, just do hashtag replay so I know you were here. Thank you for watching. Um, I appreciate you being here, and I'm gonna try to put my little link thing at the comments and see if it's gonna let me do it because it might not. It's just so strange. Hey, Norma. Let's see if it's gonna let me do it. Yay, it did it tonight. And you have to, <laughs> there we go. I got it. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Donna. Hey, whoever I missed while I was trying to pin that. Hey, Amy. Hey, Lisa and Janet. Okay, let me get this off of here. And I was trying to do it on my iPad. And I don't know, it won't let me on my iPad. I don't know. Hey, Luann. Okay, got everything going. Got my iPad just in case. <laughs> Hey, Joyce. Hey, Ann and Jody. Welcome, welcome. So glad y'all are all here. Hey, Judy. It's Thursday night. I hope y'all have had a good week. And I still haven't changed this nasty paper, but, you know, it's going to do. <laughs> oh, Catherine, thank you. Hey, Terry and Claire. Um, yeah, I had to wear my hat. But, yeah, today I was like, this is going to be a hat night. It's going to be a hat night. Um, I am, and I hope you are, too. Hey, Tanya. Y'all come on in my room and have a seat and we're gonna make something, something. <laughs> B, you're just jumping all over the place. I hear ya. Hey, Laura from Las Vegas. Hey, Brenda. Y'all look at my cute shirt. I couldn't wait to wear it. This is um, from, this is my uh, shirt of the month from Six Money's Creations. So, um, that, and that's why I pinned the link tree because she's in my link tree. She has her um, T-shirt of the month uh, subscription thing open right now, and you can get in, and you can still get this shirt. But isn't it so cute? I was so excited. I got it in the mail yesterday or the day before, maybe Tuesday, and I couldn't wait to wear it. Oh, Dawn, you ordered some mini bees. Yay! Thank you, Sandy. It's from my, my friend Misty Money. It's from her... Uh, t-shirt thing. I just got it and I could not wait to wear it. I was like, oh, I'm gonna wear it. I'm gonna wear it. I'm gonna wear it tonight. Hey, Judy. Hey, Terry. Y'all are so sweet to hop on tonight so we can create something. Y'all just have a seat in my craft room and we're gonna, we're gonna do something. Um, thank you, Patches. I know it's so cute. It's her little t-shirt of the month thing. Hey, Grace and Lena. Um, so I kind of, just kind of thought this up. I don't know what we're gonna, what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna have to have your help because I'm trying to decide what I'm gonna do. Hey, Rhonda, how, what I'm gonna do to it, okay? So we're gonna have a couple of choices. Hey, Tina, um, and then I'm gonna show you some stuff that's coming up that I've got that's gonna be going on in the next few months. So um, I'm gonna show y'all some stuff. And tell you about some stuff. Hey, Vicki and Brenda. Awesome. Thank you, Terry. It's from uh, Six Money's Creations. It's her t-shirt club, and I just, just got it. I hadn't even washed it, y'all. I took the tag off, and I just put it on. I was like, oh, I'm going to wear it tonight. I was so excited. Um, Deanna, if you'll click the pinned comment, my link tree is, I think it's at the very top of my link tree. It's the her Six Money's Creations um t-shirt club. Hey, Jennifer. So, if I miss your name, hey, how are you? Everybody's good, I hope. I know, Debbie, it's really cute. I was so excited. I could not wait to wear it. I couldn't wait. Um, her shirts are the Bella Canvas, and yes, they're true to size. Um, I love her shirts, too. I'm a t-shirt, t-shirt loving person. I love me some t-shirts. Um, hey, Sherry. Okay, so let me show y'all what I'm gonna use tonight. I'm gonna use, not use all of it, but I know I'm gonna use these items, okay? I'm gonna use this beach little house that they have out at the Dollar Tree right now. Um, we're not gonna leave it beach, and we are, you know, we're gonna do something else to it. Um, 
who washes new shirts. Usually I do Rhonda, but I did not, you can still, actually it still has like little folded creases in it, but maybe y'all can't see it. <laughs> so anyway, the stars thing, Suzanne, I don't have that. They took my stars away. So long story, long story, Lori, long story. So I don't have that capability. <laughs> um, like I haven't had it for like a year. Oh, Wendy, you're so sweet. Okay, and I'm gonna use this little house thing from the Dollar Tree, and I kind of, I kind of experimented with it today, so I've already prepped a little bit. So I took my little uh, Exacto tool thing, and um, I basically just took the blade and I just went and went all the way around because I wanted. And I haven't even pulled it all the way off, so as you can tell. I went all the way around, and then I had to go on the inside in a couple of places. And I had to, probably still need to do that right here. Because um, I want the back piece. I don't want, I mean, you could leave it like that if you wanted to. Hey, Annette. And I just, I don't really want this. I might use it for something else. But I want this piece, okay? And that little stuff just comes right on off there. Now, this is the fun part of getting off this label. Oh, you just bought the house? This, the beach house thing? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it this way. Melanie, it's a long story. Hey, Pat. Hey, Wendy. I'm just gonna heat this label up while we're chit-chatting. I usually do Martha, but I couldn't wait on this one because I haven't done laundry and I was like, I want to wear it. Oh, because I want y'all to see it because it's so cute. And I want to get this label off because I'm not really sure what side I'm going to use. Hey, Joan. Ooh, that gets hot. Heat tool works really good for getting those sticky stuff, sticky labels off, but then it leaves the sticky goo on the back. Yeah, it's steamy and hot here too. So ooh, it's it's sticky. See, <laughs> it's sticky. Hey, Aretta, welcome. You like this little thing? I do too, because you just put your finger in the hole, and then you can just you know do like this, like you're almost like you're working with a pencil. So it's really cool. So I love it. I think it's in my Amazon shop. Hey, Wanda. Okay, so I still got sticky there. So I got to get this off. So I didn't do all the prep work. I'm gonna try to get off, I'm gonna take off the little uh, sand dollar and I'm gonna try to get off the roof part. Um, it is, it's like a, it's like a heather looking, it's not white and it's not gray, but it's like a heathered looking white. But it, yeah, it's kind of that mingledy looking. Um, uh, Nori, it's, it works for me a good bit of the time, so just try it. Now, this is a little sand dollar, it's like a foam, so I'm just going to try to get it off. Oh, Norma, okay, well, I sent out a text because, you know, I know that you don't always get the notification. Hey, Ellen, hey, Corby, welcome, welcome, y'all come on in, have a seat. You got plenty of room up in here, not really, but <laughs> I do. <laughs> Um, oh good, so I'm just got a house. But if you don't have this piece, the, the little, this house, you can always make this out of foam board or you can use the arrow or whatever you have. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to pop these off and if not, I'll just use this side. But we're gonna see just because, so y'all might wanna know if we can get this off. Oh, Lynn, you've never seen it? It's, a, it's Fiskars. Um, it's about rubbed off, but it is Fiskars brand. But it's like a finger. It's just really neat if you have to do a lot of a lot of cutting and stuff. Instead of holding it. Okay, let's see if this is going to come off. I'm just trying to peel off. I don't know how it's attached, but it looks like it's got little bitty nails. Because inquiring minds want to know. Olive oil, that's a good thing, Dawn. That's a good tip. And I'm probably not gonna be able to get it off because it is 
kind of nailed on there. But I'm gonna give it a good old try. It's probably nailed and glued, if the truth be known. So, we're gonna leave the beach on that side. <laughs> hey, Joanne. Yep, I have room for about a thousand people. Come on in. There's room for everybody. Hey, Ann. Let me get that one heated up a little bit. We'll just use this side. Yeah, everybody's got a front row seat. Cause I'm gonna need your help. <laughs> hey, Robert. Hey, Janet. Okay. This one might be, no, it's gonna be a little bugger. Maybe I didn't get it hot enough. Hey, Mary. You know, not all labels are created the same. Catherine. Hey, Lenora. Oh, my. With my hair up, my eyes stand out. I gotta get me, um, a light like my friend Cindy has. Because I was, I went live in her, her private membership the other night and painted, um, the flowers. And, um, her ring lights made my eyes look so blue. Um, oh, Lori, you made it, yep, you made it to the front row. Um, oh yeah, Goo Gone, or Goo, yeah, I can do that. I don't have it, it's in the house, believe it or not. Hey, Sheila. So, um, her, her light made my eyes look so blue, they look like glass. And I was like, ooh, I gotta get one of these lights, it makes my eyes look all pretty and blue. <laughs> That's right, Robin. Yeah, because when I went to see Garth, he, he was about that big. <laughs> but I got to see him. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry, y'all. Because if, if, if I'm, if, depending on what method I'm, what we're going to put on here, of whether I need to get the label off or not. All right, come on. Get off of there. See, that one's not as sticky, but this one over here, oh boy. Okay. All right. So, peanut butter will take it off. No, I don't want it to be greasy, though. Hey, Lori. I know, right, Tanya? I need to know what kind of light it was. It probably wasn't a $20 one from Walmart. <laughs> she has, like, one on each side, and they're big. And, yeah, it, it, it made my eyes look uh, really super blue. And Cindy was like, oh, look at your eyes. They look so pretty. They look blue, real blue. And I was like, oh, they do. <laughs> um, okay, Melanie, I'll look and see. Sheila, I want to really, really bad, but I didn't get a ticket to go. And so I'm like super bummed out because I didn't. And now I want to go and I should have. Okay, so if y'all have not guessed what we're making, we are going to make a church okay this is what this is going to be just imagine in your mind that it's going to be a church um yes robin it's amazing i don't doubt that one bit at all um <laughs> rhonda <laughs> you're so funny okay so we're gonna paint this we're gonna fix it all up and it's going to be a real pretty church okay so question question Okay, cho you got two choices. This is the choice of what you think I should do to it because I don't really know. Because I'm going to tell you the reason why. I could paint it white and do a little door and little windows and the whole thing, okay? Or, this is what my original thought was, but then I had to back up a little bit because this is going to change things. I wanted to put this on it. This textured... Stuff, and I wanted to paint it white and then I wanted to distress it to where you can see all these little indentions things and but if I do that I'm not gonna be able to like make a door and the windows you know we'll have to kind of do it up something else uh, on it does that make sense 
So, which either way is fine. I'm kind of leaning to this, but um, yes, Catherine, this is from the Dollar Tree. It's this beach sign, and I couldn't get the little roof part off because we're going to make our own little roof. Roof. <laughs> Carla, yes, this is this from uh, Six Monies? This is her t-shirt subscription, and you can find it in my link tree. Um, so, and then the other piece is the backing to this little house thing or whatever. Um, or you could use one of the arrows from the Dollar Tree, or you could um, you could just cut one out of foam board if you'd like to. Oh, Cheryl, I'm trying to work on it. Um, I got this on Sunday. I hadn't been out there since because it kind of got a little pink, but um, okay. So what do y'all think? Do y'all think I should use the, the tile or should I just paint the church and do other stuff? Okay. So Kelly likes the tile. Either would be good. Tanya with Hummingbird Painery says paint with windows. Patches wants the tile. Roof, woof, what? <laughs> Rhonda, what are you talking about? <laughs> All right, Lori says paint it. Tiles. So it's about even. Lori says it doesn't need. I like the tile. All right, so, so far I think the tile is kind of window. Okay, now Glenn says windows and doors the door windows out and put the sticky on do the second choice so I would definitely paint this white is what I would do with it I could do that paint and tile both thank you Gloria Top with tile and bottom paint. Oh, oh y'all, I don't know. I still don't know. Because <laughs> it's about half and half. Paint it because lots of us can't find tiles. I love the tiles. Okay. I think I'm going to do what Colleen says. I think I'm going to do it that way. I think I'm going to um, go with my original thing. Um, I haven't been able to find them either, and I saw somebody say that in a while. And then I saw them recently, and then um, um, a sweet follower, Miss Darian, sent me some. But count out to make it fit. Could you put the tile back piece and paint the bottom? I think so. I think that's what I'm going to try to do. Okay, so this is when you take this. It's got this arrow. It's got like the sticky stuff. It's sticky on the back. Um, so I'm not really sure. I haven't worked with this in a very long time. Oh, and we're also going to use these. I don't know if you have these from the Dollar Tree. I thought I would use those. I might do that. I might cut them out if I can. Let me just see what I can do. Okay. So, do, do, do. but I still think I need to, okay. I'm trying to think of what I'm going to do first. Oh, Dollar, yeah, Dollar General does have the little tiles. They're not exactly like this, but they are, they're close. Okay. So, I'm going to turn it over like this. And, wait, hold up. Okay, I'm trying to, I'm just thinking about what I'm doing because the plastic's still on the back, but, okay. I have to think about it for just a minute. Family Dollar has them. Okay, that's good to know. I haven't been in Family Dollar in a while, so I don't have one really close to me. All right, so I'm just going to trace on this clear stuff on the back. Because we're going to paint our roof and all that stuff. So, I'm not really worried about it. Getting on my house. Now, I got to get some of my 45 pairs of scissors I got. 
<laughs> yeah, I love that post today. I love reading all of everybody's comments about how many pairs of scissors they got. I just cracked up laughing. And some people that said, oh, I got two pairs of scissors. I was like, really? Because <laughs> I lose my scissors all the time. I can never have enough pairs of scissors. I just, it cracked me up though. Some people said, oh, I got 30 pair. And I'm like, wow. And I wasn't even counting the ones in my house. Oh, that was cool, Judy. You bought the wall, the, yeah, you can get textured wallpaper on Amazon. And you know, if you, like she said, she gave some to her friends. And if you have, um, if you have some other people you could go in with, and they, you know, split like the roll of raw, wall, uh, wallpaper. But what I do is I have, like, I have a little neighbor down the street, Miss Glenda, if she's watching, and her daughter, we're all friends, and she has been looking for these for a very long time. And I didn't even look to make sure I had it centered, but I didn't do that bad. <laughs> um, she's been wanting these tiles for a long time, and when I finally saw them, I grabbed her a couple. And then she does, the compressor just cut on, so that's why the lights just kind of went bling. Um, anyway, so uh, so I got her a couple when I saw them, because she's been hunting them for a very long time. But I, they've been out forever. Okay, now draw a window and a door. Okay, so let me get this on here. Yeah, we're just going to have to just see how this goes, because... Um, you know, I got, see, see, the thing is, is I've got, these are, these stick out. So I've got, I'm going to take, we're going to make little pieces for our roof and everything. <laughs> Colleen's got a boatload of scissors. I do too. I have, what I post, 12, 13 today? 20 pairs of scissors. <laughs> I mean, you can't have too many pairs of scissors. All right, let's do this. So I know I got to have where my roof is gonna go. Let's do this. Hey, Julie, welcome! Welcome, welcome, welcome! Yeah, they sell scissors for a dollar. Okay, so I'm gonna make my roof like these pieces, because see, I wanted them to match on this part. So that's why I, I didn't use the ones that were there. Um, so I'm gonna take this piece and I'm just gonna kind of measure right here. And this is where my little tool's gonna come into play. And I'm gonna just make a little mark right there of where I wanna put it, I hope. Cause I gotta cut that out because it's gonna make it stick up. If that makes any sense. It's gonna make my roof pieces not lay flat. Whoop. Cutting my stick. Okay. So I'm going to take my ruler. And I'm not worried about cutting my house because I'm going to cover all of that up. All right. See if I cut all the way through and I did not. I'm just gonna cut where I didn't cut all the way through. All right, so then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Get it all straight. Make sure that's gonna be right. Oh yeah. Let's see. Doing a little architectural work over here. Architectural work. Yes, welcome Julie. You like my shirt? It is from Six Money's Creations. It's her uh, t-shirt subscription that I'm in that I get a t-shirt in the mail every month and I don't know what it's going to be. It's so exciting. And, um, it's in my link tree. If you want to join, she has it open right now, but I could not wait. Couldn't wait to wear it because it's so stinking cute. Okay. Hold on. I'm trying to get it because every time I press down to hold it down, it like wants to slide around on me. Okay. And I don't want to cut it on my table because I don't have a cutting mat down. Hold on, y'all. Sorry. Okay. 
still didn't cut all the way through. All right, well, I may just, let's just do this. <laughs> I'm getting out of my way. Okay, so now I have my piece cut with my places cut out for my little pieces of roofs. <laughs> oh, they never cut anything but fabric. That's right. Okay, now I need to decide how far, let me put that to the side, how far this needs to go up on my church. Like, it's gonna look like this. Hey, Sandy, thank you, Jenny. And I appreciate y'all do sprinkling. Okay, so I think it, I think that's good. I don't wanna do it too, too high. Tape it in place while I cut. That's smart, okay. So I think I'm going to, okay. Now, Julie, I didn't, it's from, um, it's a t-shirt subscription that I'm in from Six Money's Creations and I get a t-shirt every month and um, it's like a surprise when I get it. These came from the Dollar Tree. Um, super cool, I love them. And when you see them, you need to grab a bunch because um, you may not see them a while, for a while again. So what I'm gonna do is you see that little, this right here? I'm gonna try to see if I can be smart and use that to my advantage. Like so, hold on y'all, my fumble fingers. And I don't know if my tape is over here or not. Nope, of course you know it's not, okay. See if I can hold it in place, like so. Like that. Ta-da! Bold peanuts are the worst thing you ever ate. What? Oh my gosh, I love some bold peanuts. But you can't eat them out of a can, though. You gotta eat real bold peanuts, like that somebody actually boiled and salted the right way. Okay. So now, um, just trace that out. So I use that little thing to my advantage there, that little peak that I already made on when I cut out the other piece. And so I'm gonna cut that out. Now we're done with that. So see, this little piece is not even attached to the back of the tile. It's only attached on the perimeter, so it comes off. Um, so now I've got, now I gotta cut these pieces out. So now my tile is going to fit like this and like that. And so now I've got to cut out the pieces that go where the roof is going to go. Thank y'all for hanging in here with me while I'm doing my architectural design, I guess. Okay, get that started. And then I'll just get my little metal ruler, which is from the Dollar Tree, which is nice to have. Uh-oh. Come on. Work with me. Missed a few little spots. Okay. It is, I think it is a southern thing, um, but you can't have, you definitely cannot, the canned ones are okay, but you gotta have Definitely need to have some that somebody made the right way. Oop, the right way. Um, but yeah, I think they're Southern thing. Scissors. Okay, so. I think I messed that part up, but okay, we'll fix it. Yeah, they have to be boiled correctly. They have to have be salted correctly and boiled correctly. All right, so. That's gonna be down here, like that. All right, so now we're gonna start constructing our church. Hey, Angela, I'm good. All right, so I'm gonna put my, 
I'm gonna trim off some on the side though. It's bothering me. It's hanging over just a little bit and I don't like it. So I'm gonna trim off just a hair. And I cut inside the line too and it's still wanting to hang over the side. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna take my hot glue. Hey, Regina. Oh, you live in Southwest Mississippi, Kay? Um, so I'm gonna take my hot glue and run it around all up in here, just every which way, and put my, woo, I like to went up too high with my glue. You've never seen a metal ruler at the Dollar Tree? And they have um, squares too, the metal squares. Um, okay, so there's the start of our little church. You were raised on bold peanuts? Okay, so now I got to figure this because this is going to be a little different. So I've got to put my, my roofs my pieces of my roofs, bold, bold. <laughs> Debbie, you want me to say it? Okay, so let me make sure I'm getting my, my scientific measurements under control over here. So I've got it. See, it's sticking over the edge too, I can't stand it. Bold peanuts. <laughs> Boiled, is that what you want me to say? Boiled? Oh, you're okay, Carla? Your daughter had a softball game? Ooh, I cut that too much. Okay. So, I had to trim it. It was hanging over the edge. Yeah, I'm from Mississippi, yes. Central Mississippi is where I'm from, but I live in, um, I live in North Mississippi now. Hey, Alicia. Okay, so here's my, my little, um, do you know what I'm gonna do? Because my my little oh I just slung white paint everywhere. My little uh, my little measurements were not completely totally accurate when I went to paint my I mean cut my my little tile. <laughs> Sherry, you hadn't heard about bold peanuts. Most people haven't until they come down here and. I love them. If you like salty stuff, oh my goodness. So I'm just gonna paint a little white right there to cover up my imperfections of my uh, cutting so you won't be able to see it. Which, duh, I guess I could have painted it when I paint my tiles on the... Y'all, just, just, just go with me. This is like real crafting, you know what I'm saying? You just kind of go and you just, I don't know. You do that and you go, why did I do that? <laughs> hey, Nancy. Hey, Erin. Okay, so now I'm going back to measuring what I was doing before I totally interrupted myself and did something that I really didn't even have to do because I'm going to paint the thing white anyhow. All right, so I'm just trying to get it so our little roof pieces will be... Okay. There we go. All right, so I'm just gonna lift this up and glue this side down. Don't have them, don't have bowl peanuts there. They're too messy for your OCD, but oh gosh, they're so good. Oh my goodness. Not Monday. <laughs> Tried them in Georgia and spit them out. Well, you may, maybe you didn't have them made right. It's kind of like grits. It's kind of like, y'all, I did it on the wrong side, but it's okay. Cause all that's going to be covered up. I'm supposed to do it on that side, but oh, okay. um, yes, during football season, I was about to say that. Yeah, I was supposed to do it on that side, but I did it on that side, but it's gonna be like this. Okay, so now you see why I did what I did. So it's gonna be like this, somewhat to this degree, like this. 
we're going to make our little roof. Okay. So, and crazy me, didn't get any um, a plate or anything to put all my paint on. So prepared. Let's see. Hold on. I was gonna say, I got that plastic that came off the, yeah, look at here, I'm gonna put my paint on here. Okay, come on, I gotta get some, I gotta go get some more white. Okay, so this is just my Waverly white. I'm just gonna go with plain old white and we're gonna um, distress it. You don't like grits either, Sherry? You gotta have them made the right way. Mandy, I've never eaten peanuts in my coat, believe it or not, I've never done it. I know that sounds crazy for a Southern person. I've never done it, ever. Isn't that crazy? So I'm just painting the whole thing. Glue, what is this? I don't know if that's hot glue or what. Bo yeah, they're boiled in the shell and they have to be, um, you have to boil them for a very, very long time. And you have to put a lot of salt, and when you think that you've put a lot of salt, then you put a whole bunch more salt in there. And they have to boil for a long, long time. And then once they're, you have to keep taking one out and it's kind of like an all day process almost. Um, you have to keep taking them out and seeing if they're done, so to speak, when they get tender. Hey Rhonda, hey Sue. And then once you, um, once they get done, this is how I do mine, or have done it in the past. Um, you have to, I, I would put a, put a, you put them in like a big stock pot. And once you, they get done and tender, you turn up the heat off, and then I take a plate and I put them on top of the peanuts because they'll, some of them will float. Most of them will float. And you sink, you have to submerge them for a little while. I don't even know how long because that's when they take in the salt is after they quit cooking and you have to submerge them for a little while. You can't ha handle the mushy peanuts. Oh my gosh, they're so good. You're gonna make, y'all gonna make me want, who started the bold peanuts thing? Y'all are gonna make me want bold peanuts and I don't have any. <laughs> but yes, I like the big peanuts when they're really big. Okay, all right, so here's, Piece number one, so pretty. I'm gonna have to do another coat, of course. All right, so let's let that one dry. Let's start on this one. Some paint right there. <laughs> oh, it has to be in the, in, the, in the bottled Coke? Yep, there's a difference in Coca-Cola, I will say, in the way it tastes. Green glass, the green glass Coke bottle, that Coke is the best. No, Bertha, I, I don't eat cornbread and milk. My parents used to eat cornbread and buttermilk, but I don't eat cornbread and milk. I do not. Never. Mm -mm. I don't like that. Nope, 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 nope. So I don't guess I'm true Southerner. Okay. That one was pretty easy. Get up under here. All right, so there's that piece. I know that looks weird, but um, my paintbrush over here. I guess I gotta try the peanuts and Coke. So I'm gonna wrap my paintbrush right here. While that's drying, I'm gonna work on my... Uh, so these are just the regular, just says craft sticks from Dollar Tree. Um, these are like the tongue depressor size is what I call them. Brenda, I'm working on making a church. Um, I don't know exactly how many I need. One, two. I'm gonna do four because I know that the big part's gonna take two and then this one might take two, so I'll see. <laughs> Regina likes cornbread and milk. Ugh. <laughs> Can't do it. I think I'm gonna use, um, this is my wax. I was gonna use my burnt umber, but I looked over here and realized I didn't bring it out here. 
So I guess I just thought I was gonna do my wax. So we're gonna do the wax. Regular milk is good with cornbread. All right, so I'm gonna just take them and this is gonna be my little roof pieces. And I'm gonna stain them, I guess we're gonna call it. <laughs> Easy peasy. Hey, Marjorie. Oh yeah, Joanne. I gotta have the barbecue kind. Barbecue fried pork skins. Yes. I know that don't sound good. Can't have too many churches. That's right, Gail. I don't eat grits. You wasn't a true Southerner. Oh, you gotta have a lot of butter and a lot of salt. There's the second one. Did I go far enough? Yep. And okay. it turns out like a frisbee. <laughs> um, I'm only time. This is crazy, but the only time I ever make cornbread really is when I make cornbread dressing at Christmas and Thanksgiving. Cornbread and regular milk. No, I I really have never tried cornbread and milk. To be really honest with y'all. Um, I've never tried it, so I can't really say that I don't like it. It just doesn't sound appealing to me at all. I just, I don't know. It just doesn't sound like something I would just, woof. Biscuits with cornbread and buttermilk always. Yes. All right, so I got my sticks stained. These are my roof, my roofs pieces. <laughs> I think I said roofs while ago on accident. Let me put this lid back on because I will be um, definitely, uh, Linda, they do. And they put that seasoning stuff on there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, some people put, yeah, people put sugar in their grits. All right, so let's, oh, my hands are wet. Let's dry, dry this and have to put some more paint. I don't like hominy. Mm -mm. I like grits, but I don't eat them all the time. Eat it all the time. <laughs> Marion likes her milk only as ice cream. Tanya likes cornbread milk, but she hasn't had it in years. It just doesn't sound good to me. Meat skins, Brenda. What? Okay, I'm gonna have to make some cornbread so I can try it in milk. So I can tell y'all I tried it. <laughs> I love bull peanuts too, Teresa. Y'all won't be. I like it when people put crab bowl in the water and it makes them spicy. Spicy bull peanuts, like Cajun bull peanuts. No, I hadn't had fried grits, Lori. Sugar and butter in her grits, Regina said. Okay, got that dry. So now we're gonna um, put another coat on our church. Cornbread, milk, and onion. Oh, onions and milk. Oh my goodness, gosh. Y'all are, mm -mm. nope, 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 nope. All right, let's paint this again. So I hope y'all are able to find these because I found them recently. So these tiles, sal saltine crackers and milk. Now I have heard of that, but I just don't think that sounds good to me. I don't know if I want anything solid in my drink, in my, I don't know. I just, I mean, I eat cereal and milk, but cornbread milk is the best. Okay, I'm going to have to go make some cornbread at some point so I can tell y'all that I did it. That I tried it. All right, coat number two. And I have to go all these different directions because, you know, to leave all these little gooey, globs in between all these little pieces of the raised parts and I don't want any gooey globs of paint. Great big gobs of greasy grimy gopher guts. <laughs> I don't know where stuff comes out of my brain. I'm telling y'all it's a scary place some days. Okay. I'm talking about cornbread and milk. Cornbread and milk. Is that a southern thing or does people up north eat cornbread and milk too? 
it's okay, Brenda. This is this has been some architectural work on my church because I had to have um I've had to like work to cut this stuff to get it to where my roof's gonna fit. <laughs> Y'all, it does need paint on the top. Oh, oh, I gotta paint the sides and the top. Thank you, some, who just said that? Brenda, somebody, somebody just said it. I lost the comment. Oh, thank you, because I totally forgot to paint the edges, because yes, you're gonna be able to see the edges. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yep. Paint these edges. That would have been a disaster because then I would have had to do it afterwards and that would have been a mess. Oatmeal better. Ooh, I like me some grits. Okay. So yeah, I got to paint the roof. I don't know why I painted it white, but I guess I can put stain on, uh, wax on it now that I've painted it white. We're just going to go with it. Cornbread goes where with chili. That's right, D. That's what I say. Cornbread and chili. Cornbread and um, I like cornbread and red beans and rice. Gotta have me some cornbread and red beans and rice. Cornbread and peas. Okay, Vicky said they ate it in Michigan. Okay, so it's not a southern thing. I just thought it was a southern thing. I guess. But it must not be. Oh, Renee, that sounds good. Got paint on, on the back side. I don't know where I got that. It's on my hand now. I'm telling you. I get paint everywhere. I can't be a neat. I'm not a neat crafter at all. So if you're not, don't feel bad because you're not alone. <laughs> okay. All right, so I got all the sides except the bottom. Not really concerned about the bottom. See, still got it on my finger. Tried to be swift about it. All right, let's dry. 45 wipes later. Cornbread and chili, me too. Jalapeno cheese cornbread, yes, Erin, yes. I like jalapeno cornbread. Fish and cornbread, yes, that sounds good. Me too, Sandy. I, like bread pudding? I, I don't want my bread soggy. I, I, I just, mm -mm. But, you know, like cornbread, it, it, it kind of holds up a little bit. It's got a little crust on it. So it holds up in your chili and your, all that stuff. Yeah. No, y'all can't see what I'm doing. Had to move it so y'all can see. Black eyed peas and cream peas and rice. Yes. That sounds good. Y'all are making me hungry. I had not eaten. Probably going to be cereal for me. <laughs> I mean, this way. Chili and peanut butter sandwich. Charlie. What? Okay, Jenny. So maybe that's where that comes from. Cornbread milk. Cornbread salad. Cornbread salad is good. I know, Barb. It's like, I don't know. Yeah, black paint's bad. All right. Broccoli is good in cornbread. Yes, I've had that. Like, broccoli cheese cornbread is good. Cindy, Cracker Barrel. When I go to the Cracker Barrel, I've only ever gotten breakfast because I can't get past the breakfast. I love their breakfast. I, I've never gotten anything but breakfast. Yes, Faye, cornbread and vegetable soup, amen. And grilled cheese and vegetable soup is my thing. Hey, Ann, my shirt is from, um, if you'll click that link tree right there, it's from Six Money's, uh, my friend Misty Money is her uh, shop. She has like a t-shirt subscription. And I, I get a t-shirt every um, month, and it's a surprise when it comes. 
And so that's, this is where this came from. Cornbread cake. Now I've never heard of that. Mexican cornbread. Yes, Brenda, yes. With the jalapenos in it. It's good. Hush puppies. No, Zoe, hush puppies are like pieces of cornmeal and they have onion in them, sometimes jalapenos. And they fry them when they, when they make like fried catfish or fried fish. Hush puppies are good. Hey, Tina, you're mowing the grass. Okay. Biscuits and tomato gravy. My parents love tomato gravy. I, I love the way it smells when it cooks, but I don't, I don't uh, love it. Okay, so I know y'all can't see that, but here is my part of my church. And then the other part, y'all see I drew the lines and everything on that side. And, you know, I, somehow, I don't know how, but I got to the other side. Because I like the little bottles of syrup. Yeah, <laughs> not really. I just love their breakfast. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off the rounded ends of this. The breakfast potato, yes, the hash brown casserole at Cracker Barrel, delish. So these are my little snips, they are Fiskars, and I just cut off that piece. Now this is where it's gonna get tricky because I've got to piece my roof together. Because you've got two square pieces that are gonna meet up like this, but actually, you see what I'm saying? They're gonna meet like that. So, this is the fun part. Let's see. So, gotta see where to cut it. Let's do this, let's cut. this first. Cut a little more. Alright, so I just cut that how I wanted it to be. Like so. That side looks better. And then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try to show y'all what I'm doing. So I put this one where I wanted it to be. So um, it's hanging off a little bit. And then I put it right up against the edge right here. So then I'm gonna take this stick and I'm gonna lay it right. Hold on. I got white paint on it. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna put it right here. I'm not gonna, mm, hold on. got white paint on it okay so we're having a little archi architectural something okay so I'm gonna hang it off a little bit this first piece because when you put this piece on it's got to meet up right there does that make sense So you want it to look like one piece, okay? Like that. But if I, so if I put this piece up here with the edge, this is how it would look. So that kind of makes sense. So now I've got to make this side hang off as much as the other side. And I'm just going to eyeball it. Lay on top of each other and cut at an angle. Yes, I could. I definitely could do that for sure. But I'm just doing it how my brain works, I guess. So it's fine with me. You mean cut them at an angle this way? Let's just try it. I ain't got anywhere to go, do y'all? Miter it, everybody's like, miter it, miter it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> y'all want me to be all fancy and make it all look cute and perfect. So we'll do it both ways. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Let's 
Okay, so I'm gonna lay it down where I want it to be and then I'm just gonna draw my little line where I wanna cut it and hope and pray to God that it goes straight. Like that! <laughs> okay. So I just took like where the point is where the point is in my little stuff, I just drew a line up my little stick. And so when I put it together, we're gonna hope and pray that they're gonna fit. Y'all are trying to explain to me and I'm like, what? <laughs> okay. Alrighty, let's see what happens. It's gonna be okay. I know there's a little gap there, but I will put some stain in there <laughs> and you won't be able to tell. Let's put some stain in there. Doo -doo -doo. Or some wax. Hey, Amy, welcome. You're new, you're new, you're new, welcome. Okay, I'm, put, I'm just putting a little wax in that little place so my little gap that I made won't show up so bad. There we go. All right. Hey, Christy, with Christy's Craft Room. My little evil laugh. Y'all were telling me how to do it, and I'm like, ah. Okay. See, look, now when I put it up there, you can't see. Well, you can't really tell if you didn't know. Okay, now I got the bottom part of the church. Now I gotta do the top part. Play the first one you cut on top of the other one and draw a line. Pam, you're so smart. Y'all are trying to help me the best way y'all can. Try putting the other one and cut at an angle. Just try it. Okay. All right, so now we gotta do this one. This one's got like a First of all, I, I need to cut some off. Like, I'm just knowing how much overhang y'all want. Thank you, Patches. Hey, Sue. Thank you. Use that to make a line. Okay, so you're saying, I know what y'all are saying. You're saying use the first one that I cut and make that like my little template. Y'all are being helpful because sometimes you just draw a blank and you're just like, I don't have a clue. Yes, I, Christy's Craft Room is on here. Christy's Craft Room. If Christy with Christy's Craft Room, if you don't watch her, y'all need to go check her out too. She's a sweet lady, and I've met her last July in Nashville. So y'all are saying do that, right? Like, lay them on top of each other, and then cut, and then ta I have. Why didn't that work? It did not work. Hold on. What's happening? No, that did not work. Why? My pitch is too, hold on. Why did that not work? It didn't work. Okay. <laughs> oh, Patches used to build dollhouses? That's kind of cool. That is really cool. I've always wanted to get an old dollhouse and redo the whole dollhouse. I just think that would be the coolest thing ever um, to redo a dollhouse. But now, since I'm having this much trouble, I'm kind of wondering and doubting myself about that because I see them at Goodwill all the time. 
and I'm thinking that would be kind of cool to like redo the whole house. It's supposed to be, hmm. Well, the pitch is definitely different than the other one. Okay, I'm gonna figure this out. You cut the angle too much. Okay, I think that's what I did. I think I cut it too much. I need to flip it, Peggy said. Hey, Kathy. All right. I think I cut it too much. So let me cut my sides off again. I'm gonna this. I'm not gonna let this beat me, y'all. Okay. But if I draw a line straight up, it ought to work. Maybe I just, I don't know what I did, actually. All right, so that ought to work. Look, I might can turn this piece around and do, I might can. It might be long enough, but it's gonna be close. I cut this one off, I can't, it will. I got it, I got it, y'all. It worked because I cut that and then I flipped it over. Where's my thing? Now, I got it, y'all, I got it, I got it. Okay. Okay, yeah, it's just a different pitch to the roof. I still need to cut some of this off. Hey, Carmar from Alaska. All right, pieces of stuff flying everywhere. Okay. So now I got my roof. Y'all are hanging out with me and I am just, oh, this is turning into a lot more than what I thought it was gonna be. Okay. So now I'm gonna put my pieces on. Hmm. Should I wax it first? Or should I dry brush this thing first? Should I dry brush it? And then, or should I wax it? And Laurie's like, good job, I got it, yay. Um, so, um, I know angles will drive you crazy. Woo. <laughs> Sandy's like, I like your technique. I don't even know what technique that was, but I just kind of did something. <laughs> Christy's like, yay, you did it. I know, it's like, I'm not going to let it beat me. You're watching from Texas and it's hot. <laughs> I just didn't know it was going to be this complicated to build a little church. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, wax this and wipe it off or dry brush it. All right, Casey said wax, dry brush. All right, so that's one and one. <laughs> right, Sheila? I didn't know it was going to be that difficult, and I've done this before. It's one and one. All right, that's two for dry brush, one for wax. Two for wax. <laughs> oh, Diana's wanting me to cut pieces off and make a, make a, um, a little cedar roof. <laughs> yeah, roof pitches are hard. Hey, Sadie from Ohio. So now we're two and two. So wait and see what y'all say. Wax or dry brush? Wax, Karen says. Wax, that's three plus four for wax. Wax, okay. All right, so I'm gonna take my roof off because I'm gonna put them on party last. Wax, wax, wax. Okay, wax. Y'all just wanna see me get my fingers all brown and under my fingernails. And y'all, this stuff does not come out from under your fingernails for a long time. Like you have to like get a brush and scrub and everything else. Wax, wax, wax. Okay. All right, so this is just the wax, Waverly wax. My son bought me this big honking container full that'll last me from now till forever. Um, all right, here we go. I'm kind of scared to put it on top of this, but uh, on top of this white, but let me get some of it off. I'm kind of, I'm scared. All right, here we go. 
Don't be scared. Gonna be pretty. Oh, it is gonna be pretty though. Ooh. It's going to be pretty. So then I'm just gonna wipe it back off, I guess. Wax, wax, wax. Wax on, wax off, Zoe said. Yes, wax on, wax off. Gotta get in all of the little crack, 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 cracks. I wanna get a good coat on there because I'm gonna wipe it all off and hope and pray for the best. I'm always scared I'm gonna mess it up. Are anybody else like that? Um, they're scared they're going to mess it up when they put the wax on it. Like it's just going to look terrible or something. Maybe I should do a dry one. more I guess I can wipe it with the wet yeah I need some gloves I'm just I just don't ever have any out here so yeah if you don't want it a lot to come off just use a paper towel I just found that out and if you want a lot to come off then get a baby wipe and more will come off that's how it's looking look how pretty that is it looks all um Hurry, wipe it off, Carol said. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Spit spot, spit spot. Hurry, hurry. Yeah, I'm afraid too. I'm like, oh, I'm going to mess it up. Every time. I'm just like panicked. So if I hold it up to the camera, I can kind of tell where I need to do it. I don't want to take it all away. Look how pretty and antique that looks. Oh my goodness. Hey, Kim. Just go with it, and if it's wrong, just paint over it. I like that philosophy. Usually I tell y'all that, and here I am, worried about my little piece of stuff with the church. And um, No, Rose, I'm not going to add turquoise to it. Um, okay, so now we're going to do this little bitty bit on this piece. Hurry, 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 hurry. I didn't see Colin hop on tonight. Um, they're almost done with their house. They moved. They're not in Arkansas anymore. And they are in uh, Mississippi, back in Mississippi. And they bought a house that was being built. And the house is almost done. And they... Um, are supposed to be moving in next weekend and it's looking so so good um so so good i'm so proud of them but i didn't see him hop on tonight okay so i'm wiping some of this off look how pretty that looks i know it don't look like much because all this other stuff's on here but that's gonna be so pretty on our church okay so I'm going to leave it, leave it be. I don't want to mess with it too much. Um, so don't be scared of the wax like I am. I'm, I'm always scared. Every time I do it, whether it's furniture or whatever, I'm always scared. And just saying, that will be under your fingernails for a very long time. That's right, Pam. And I tell you all that too. Just sand it off or whatever. Okay. So now I'm just... <laughs> I'm going to have to get my nail brush and get it off. Okay, so now we're going to put our roof pieces on. Whew, this is wearing me out, y'all, this church. Okay, so I'm going to put my pieces on. Let me cut some, like, little, where I, my exacto thing didn't do right. Okay, so let me put some glue here and put my roof on thank you martha i'm happy for them too they're um they're gonna be closer to his dad and her parents 
Um, same distance for me though. Um, so it's not, you know, they're the same distance. So it's really cool that they're, um, they're going to be back in Mississippi and, you know, she already has her teaching job and all that stuff. So, but I didn't see him hop on tonight. He must be busy. Okay. So there are my roofs, my glue strings. Hey, Carrie, it's fine. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Pam. That's so pretty. Look at it. It's pretty just by itself. If you just have this house and you want to make it real pretty, you can just look at this. That's just pretty on its own. Um, I probably need to wax those, don't I? Somebody said edges and I went, oh! The church is just the beach sign from from Dollar Tree. And then um, it's another little, ha little tall house from um, Dollar Tree. And I took out the backing and I used just the back. But yeah, I gotta do the edges, especially the roof, because you remember I painted the roof white and it's not supposed to be white. So I'm uh, I'm not even gonna wipe off that because I want the roof to be brown. Just kind of wipe that off a little bit. Somebody said something about edges, and I went, ooh. Forgot them a while ago, and I forgot them again this time. Okay, got that done. And we're just gonna take what's on my rag and go with it on my little baby wipe. That's good enough for me. <laughs> hey, Pat. Okay. Oh, this church building is tough stuff, y'all. <laughs> I got it all over me again. How many baby wipes have I went through? About 10? Um... Put, oh, I'm going to put a cross, Linda, don't worry. I got these from the Dollar Tree that I've had for a while. And we're going to use one of those probably. Okay, so let me put my little roof pieces on here. And get the right, the right ones, the ones I cut the correctly. And put my, my little roofs on. And then I'm going to... Okay, that one's a little crooked, but you know, it's all gonna be okay. Thank you, Sharon. Hey, Tina. All right, it's not exactly perfect and all this good stuff, but it's gonna work. Ta -da. All right, so now we got to combine these. So see my little, well, I drew it on that side and somehow got it on this side and I don't, don't even know. <laughs> but it's going to fit together like this. How pretty is this going to be? Two sticks would be super cute as the cross. It would be super cute, but I, I got these little crosses a while ago at Dollar Tree and I want to use them. So this was the beach house. This piece is the inside of, of one of these little boxes, and I just took the back piece out, if y'all were wondering. Oh, you seen people making my little paint palette? I actually ordered two more palettes for, uh, to do something with, and I haven't done it yet. I was going to wipe that off, but I'm fixing to glue on top of it. So now i got to glue the house, um, or the bottom part of my church... on here. All right, let's see. Because you know, this back piece is, and I want it to be straight. Because you know, I may not have cut it straight, so I'm just gonna try to hold it where it looks straight. This was some construction that went into this thing. <laughs> Y'all witnessed it, too. Y'all saw me. I was struggling. Thank you, Mary Lou. Okay. Oh, man. This is going to be pretty, though. Okay. So, I think it's on there. Look how pretty this is. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So, this is the box. But if you don't have the bo this box, okay, 
cut this out of foam board. Nobody's ever gonna know. Take, you get you get your little exacto thing, cut cut it out of the foam board, and just stain the sides with the wax or paint or whatever. Nobody's ever gonna know that it's foam board. Okay, but see, look, it's gonna stand. I hope. Look how pretty this is. But I was like, this just looks like this, and you know. I'm Dana. I'm trying to be a construction worker. I'm telling you, and I was I was struggling. They had to tell me how to cut the roof and the pitch and the pitch of the roof and everything. You can tell I didn't go to um, school for that. Okay, so these are the little crosses, and I want to use these so bad because um, I've had them in my stash. Oh, and you get two of each one. See, I didn't know that. And yes, I can cut these on my laser, but you know, I had to get them because I like to craft with stuff that y'all can get. So I don't like to do it. So now I gotta pick a favorite. That's gonna be tough. Okay, I'm not gonna use the rounded one. So it's between these two. Okay, so I'm gonna let y'all see. I know y'all really can't even see that, that. Y'all can't even really see it, to be honest. Uh, Robin, I don't know. I'm going to have to think about it. But now that I'm looking at this cross, I think I'm going to, the cross needs, needs a little, something. Just trying to think of which one. I kind of like this one. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I got a little bit of white paint on my, my little makeup sponge over here, and I'm just, I just dabbed it. I didn't even cover the whole thing, okay? I just did just, just enough to kind of set it off. And I gotta break out the wax again. I kind of looked at the little lines in the stuff and kind of went with, I'm trying to not get that so stark white, but now it's gonna turn it brown again. <laughs> But it gives it a little, it's not so stark white. Applying it to the front of the trailer one, of the smaller one. So yeah, so I can either put it here, like um, somebody just said, like here, or I can put it on, ta-da, and make it stick up off of the church. Y'all like the first one? I don't know what the first one was now. Matches the tiles. Yeah, I think this one was kind of too square, but. Okay. So what if I put it on a little, um, Dana, yeah, they're gonna be, they'll be waxing my coffin with that bottle of wax right there. Um, I'm gonna just threw that away. Let me grab this out of here. On the top, okay. Becky said, diamond dust across. I gotta get my diamond dust out. On the church. I think I'm gonna make it stick up off the church. Whoop! Did y'all see that went flying? Top. Yeah, I think it kind of gets lost on the tile, and I don't want to take away from the little bit of tile that's already, you know, that's there, because it's not a lot of, not a lot of acreage up there, so I want to just, so you can focus more on the church. I like it on the top, too. So, my, this is just a little shish kebab stick, and I just rubbed on some wax that I had left on a, um, 
on one of my baby wipes. Now look at my fingers. <laughs> so after the live for the next 30 minutes, I'll be scrubbing under my fingernails to get all the wax out. Um, okay, so there is my little, this gives y'all another idea, right? What if you did this to these little crosses? Stuck them in your plants. How stinking cute would that be? I'm all about sticking stuff in plants. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do like this. Not that you're gonna even see the stick like that. See, see how the white kind of makes it pop a little bit? Like that. So I'm gonna do that. Thank you, Pat. All right, so I gotta get this little thing straight. And Lord, I don't need that much of a stick to hold that little bitty cross. But I love these crosses though, they're so pretty. It seems like it belongs on top. I know, like the, all the old churches, you see the cross is always on the top. Um, all right, so let's, so it's re it is resting on top of the roof on the little point. fairy wand. Yes, Zoe, that's cool. I know these, these crosses are pretty. You know what they would be pretty? If you know anybody that reads, they would be pretty if you tied ribbons through the little holes and make bookmarks with these. Hey, Kathy from South Carolina. Hey, Dee. Thank you. Thank you, Annette. Okay. So stinking pretty. Now, isn't that, when I look at it, it's like, is that exactly straight? But it's not exactly straight, but it's good enough for me. Isn't it pretty? Oh, Linda said rub and buff. Yes, I need to do rub and buff on it. I don't even know where my rub and buff is. A bell tower. Okay, and you know, you know what else I just thought about when I looked at this? You could make... A little a little schoolhouse if you painted it like red and made like a little bell tower when somebody said that and make a little schoolhouse you could definitely make this a schoolhouse um, so now thinking about it um hey Tammy um so Tammy all we used was this little beach sign from the Dollar Tree and this one of these and I took the back out and used the tiles and we're making a truck a church a truck where did that come from um the church Diana is the beach this beach sign that looks like a house and I put the tile on this side and the back of this little house sign from the Dollar Tree and I put tile on it and made it a little and made little pieces of roof with uh craft sticks and I'll have one yeah these little sticks Yes, Kelly, it would make a pretty little uh, Bible bookmark. Okay, so now, I'm thinking, <laughs> there's no door. I know, that's what I'm thinking about now. You'd never think it was made with, I know, you wouldn't think this was made with Dollar Tree stuff at all. I don't even know why I'm worried about my fingers anymore, trying to cover them up with the baby wipe. Um, trying to get that tip of that dark, okay. Because my fingers already look terrible. Yes, it would, Dana, and you could put like holly sprigs and all that on it, it would be so pretty. What if I did, oh, I just had another idea, hold on. Nope, that end split, hold on. I'm trying to make a door. Top of the roof needs more touch of stain, okay. Got that, I got some stain right here. Yes, I'm gonna use the stick 
to make some doors. I think I might do, what if I did two, two doors and they're rounded? You know what I'm talking about? Or just, should I just do one door rounded? Does that make sense? Like that be a door or should I do two of them? Y'all get where I'm coming from? Making a door? Um, and then I'm just going to glue it straight on that stuff. Two, yes, Linda. That's what I'm thinking. Two craft sticks and make a double door. Joy, I'm scared they would stick off too much. Like, they would be too... Stick way, um... Yes, Janice, y'all are with me. Two, two of them. And, um... darker all right my roof's getting darker sometimes it wood just takes it differently and it looks different okay all right where's it at use wider sticks okay so I think about right And be careful when you cut these because you can split them really easy. They'll split. And for some reason, when I cut them, I want to go like to the side. It wants to go like that. So it always, always end up having to try to cut it back straight. It's weird. Small wreath on the door. Okay, so what do y'all think about this? Hold on. Let me line them up. Ta-da! <laughs> My doors just went right on off into the, onto the table. Tammy, the tile came from Dollar Tree. It's like a back backsplash tile um and i just recently got it so they've started putting them out again because i haven't seen them in a long time let me see which way they fit the best you know not all craft sticks are straight either elaine yes i'm probably going to just put little two little dots there um to make the knobs or either little bitty pearls. How about that? And I'm using like the, well I was until I realized that's not the center, but the line in the tile for my center, but then I realized that's not the center, but it's okay. And they look okay. They're standing off of the thing a little bit, but it doesn't look bad. Let me see if I can reach these pearls right here. Where are you? Oh, that was a stretch. I didn't have to get up though. Oh, okay. See, I got these little sticky pearls from Walmart. Oh, hey, Troy. Or Elaine, rather, probably. It's probably not Troy, it's Elaine. See? Yeah, I have to have help sometimes. <laughs> okay. So there's little tiny ones on here. So I'm thinking, so I can take them off. Oh, y'all, this is so cute with the little pearls. <laughs> Look at that. But see, they're, they're sticking off the tiles, but they don't look bad. I mean, they're not like crazy. And windows on the sides of the doors. I was thinking of that earlier because that's what I was gonna do, but what's the bottom? Uh, oh, the bottom piece is this. It's one of these beach signs that looks like a house, like a beach house. And then this piece is one of these signs from the Dollar Tree, and I just used the back piece of it. 
But if you have the beach sign, then you can definitely just cut you a shape like this out of foam board or cardboard and make you this. And then these are craft sticks. Those are crosses from the Dollar Tree. And this is the tile from the Dollar Tree. Um, so y'all think I should make windows? Like, I keep remembering that side. I keep forgetting that side is, um, Carrie, I don't know. I'll probably place it in my house, um, somewhere. You like it without windows? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut some windows and we'll just see. How about that? Hey, Teresa, you're okay? I know it's summer and everybody's got stuff to do and ball games and all the things, but it's okay. That one's so darker and I'm trying to get this one to be as dark and they, so they'll match, but it's kind of hard to do sometimes because the wood looks different. Okay. Make sure I stained far enough down. Okay, I'm gonna hold it up there so y'all can just see the windows. Don't mean I'm gonna put windows on there. But I'm kind of leaning against no windows. Okay, so if I do them, I'll probably just do like this for the windows. Okay, so. So, windows or no windows? <laughs> okay. So, I could do the stained glass. I have all the colors over here to make little dots to make stained glass. But now that I see it all in this neutral, I kind of don't want to add color. Does that make sense? So, this is without... And then this is with. Speaking of problems, don't miss. Carrie, I didn't even see the ball game. Um, I was out here working and I didn't even think about it being on. And then when we went to turn it, it was already gone, already off. Okay, no. Kimberly says yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can use the arrows. Round window in the middle. No windows. Okay, so my other option distracts from the pretty tile. Okay, my other option would be like it without. And y'all, it may be one of those things where I just kind of sleep on it. But I could also like take a little greenery thing and like put a little wreath, um, make a little wreath. I, I like to take greenery like that and just kind of, hey Debbie, windows and put one on the top. No, it looks like eyes. <laughs> now Tammy's already said it and I cannot unsee that. So it probably is gonna look like eyes. <laughs> Um, okay. So, I, I take little stems like that, and I'll just wind it around like a circle. I see a face with the windows. Okay, now I can't unsee it. Oh, yeah, a metal tag from the Dollar Tree would have made a good, good tag, but it might have been big. But anyway, you can make a little wreath. I might just, I might sleep on it, y'all. But see, like a little green, a little green wreath up here. Um... Betty, I agree, and I'm probably just, I'm probably not going to do anything uh, hasty because y'all know I like to sleep on stuff sometimes and come back and look at it. Um, look how cute. But see, y'all see what I'm talking about? Just that little bitty pop of green. And at Christmas, you could, you know, you could do Christmas or do like a little sprig of holly. It was so cute. Okay, so I'm going to sleep on it and see what, um... Do the wreath and no windows. 
and a window under the cross. Or I could do a wreath up here. I could do it up there too. A round window. Ooh, that's a good idea. One of those little round little deals. That'd be cool. It does look like, now you're all like, I can't see it. And I can, it's a face. I can't, I can't unsee that now. <laughs> kind of oval, not straight. Green. I see, I see, I think so. I might have to work on me a little, some kind of a little wreath. I know I got some tiny Christmas ones. Thank you, Sharon. Okay. So I got to show y'all some stuff because I, I see y'all are, a bunch of people are leaving and they're going to miss this awesome stuff so let me just show you okay so this is going to come out monday and um this is going to be for christmas in july um this is going to be limited to a certain certain a number of people okay this is going to be a class okay so you will get the back piece, you will get the stand, and it will stand up, okay? You will get all of these pieces to make this tree. It doesn't come with fabric because, you know, it's kind of hard to not, to pick out fabric for everybody because everybody's decor is different. Um, so, this is going to be a class. You'll be put into a private Facebook group and be, um, it will be a, a, we'll do it live to get, I'll, I'll go live in the group and we'll put this together live. Um, so I'm trying to, um, show it to you ahead of time because this is going to come out Monday. So, um, so I'll show you bl the blank, what you'll get. Um, yes, I love this tree. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, oh, I got so much stuff over here. It's falling down. So, you will get this. It'll be, it'll be blank when you get it. You know, like this one. Okay? And then, I got stuff over here. My church just fell. Then you will get a blank piece of wood like this. Just, just blank. And a stand. And you will get spindles. <laughs> um, they'll come like this, all wrapped up together. And then, like I said, we'll have a group, a, um, a, a private Facebook group where we will, I will go live, we'll paint it and do all the things and have a good time and have fun. And so this is going to uh, be available Monday. I haven't decided what time yet. Um, so, but I will post about it and I'll also send a text out, but this is limited because I'm only doing so many, um, because I have to do, you know, the, the back, you know, I kind of have to know how many people. Um, <laughs> Y'all tell me, we need to order the tree. I don't know yet, Tammy, what time, but you don't get the fabric and you don't get the paint. You will get the spindles, you'll get the back piece, and you'll get the stand and, you know, you'll get the stand. Um, so, because, you know, it's kind of hard to decide, does somebody want white, does somebody want red, do they want silver, do they want gold? You just won't get the fabric. Um, what size is the wood square? This is 11 and a quarter by 11 and a quarter. So it's 11 and a quarter square. So the biggest, the longest spindle is, I think it's nine. Yes, nine inches long. So the largest spindle is nine inches long. Um, yes, Linda, I cut the spindles. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> With the, um, with a laser. So all of those little spindles, I've been cutting spindles. Yes. And this is what they look like. They're all packaged up in this little bundle right here. Um, so there's actually 13 pieces in this tree. There's all of these little pieces. And then you got your little base spindle down here. Um, Laurie, it's going to be $38 for the whole kit. And then you get the class. Um, and then I answer Lori's question again, but I love this. Um, so then this will be, the class will be like mid July um, because it's Christmas in July. And then right after that, like mid July, I'm going to 
put up the dotting class. Um, then the dotting class will be available for a couple of weeks for everybody to sign up, get in, and get um, get their supplies of what they need, their tools and stuff. And then the dotting classes will start in um, August. So the dotting class is going to be four classes. It's going to be a month long, if not more. Four, if not five different classes over a month or five weeks time. So it's going to be, it's a little more in depth than just a one-time class because there's so much information to kind of give you. So it will be, um, it will be, um, available. It'll be, when this is over, like mid-July, then I'll put the dotting class up and then it will be, um, available for you to get in the dotting class. And there's no limit on the dotting class. Um, Cause I'm still working on that. Cause there's a lot of information that you will get in the dotting class. But yes, this is, this is really cool. So um, somebody asked if you could just get the spindles. Right now I'm just doing this as a kit and a class. Um, so we'll see maybe Christmas or before Christmas. I may offer this again. I don't know, I'll just have to see. Um, and we'll just, we'll just see how it goes. What is this setting? Oh, it's, Rose is a dotting class. Uh, everybody's asked me about the dotting class where you do dots. Um, yes, if you're, you will be in the group, the Facebook group for this. And if you're not there to see the live, yes, you will be in that group and you'll be left in there. So you can watch the video at your convenience at any time. Um, so I'm just really excited about this. Um, Martha, maybe later on down the line, maybe so, but right now I'm just going to do the class. Yes, shipping is included, Linda. It's $38 even, or unless you have to pay tax for your state, because some states I have to pay sales tax for. Um, <clears throat> Kathy, it's a dotting technique that I do, that I used to do a lot years ago, but it's dot painting. Um, and you have tools that you do with it, but I'll explain more of that as we go. Um, I've done a little bit here and there on the live and people have asked me for a class for it. And, um, yes, B, I did know that. And I had already started cutting all this before she released hers and that's going to happen. You know, it is going to happen that we overlap. Um, the people that have lasers, you know, it's just going to happen because we buy our files from all these people and we all like the same things and that's okay. That's okay with that. Um, yes, I do realize there is someone else that's doing it, but you know, it is what it is and it's totally fine. But, um, you know, it is what it is. So it's fine. <clears throat> and I'm actually friends with her. So, you know, it's, you know, she wishes me well, I wish her well, you know, it's fine. Um, Cindy, I haven't actually gotten that far with it yet. Um, but because it's going to be, you know, it's going to be like four, at least four different lessons. Um, yeah, mandala painting is, you know, four different lessons. So I, I'm not sure exactly how much just yet. Yes, this thing, this whole thing it will be your finished project when you're done. And whoever's doing mad faces, I'm so sorry. <laughs> now the dotting class will, there won't be a limit because there's nothing that I mail to you. It'll just be an instructional class that we do. Um, yes, thank you B for telling me though. But yes, I mean, um, Uh, Monday, Robin, and I will post a couple of times before Monday of what time it's going to be, all that kind of stuff that I'm going to release it, but I believe it's going to be Monday, because I have to do, like, y'all know, there's a lot of stuff that goes on, technical stuff that goes on behind the scenes, um, and that has to be done before all this does, because it has to be set up, let's put it like that, so when you purchase, it adds you to a spreadsheet, and then I check when you go to get in the group, it adds, <laughs> if your email is right, you know, if you actually purchase it because you're trying to get in the group and it's a lot of little things behind the scenes that have to fit together 
And so, um, yes. Yes, Cindy. I know it's been a long time coming, but like I said, it's a lot of information that I have to gather and decide, okay, I'm going to do this, this night, this, this night, this, this night, because it's going to be several different um, classes. Thank you, Diane. Yes, Lori, it is. It really is, because y'all know I cut all the time, and I still can't keep up. It's just crazy. I know, Lillian, did you hit it on accident? It's totally fine. I understand, especially on an iPad. I know it's on the end and it shouldn't even be there. Thank you, Tina. But anyway, I wanted to show y'all this. Um, Rose, I don't, I don't think I have anything like real close by that I can grab. But I'll be posting about it. Um, I, don't, I don't have anything like right here because it's all put up. <laughs> Um, oh, thank you, Carrie. You're sweet. Thank you, Esther. But see, this could come apart. Um, but it just sits down in there. I know, Judy. It's going to be fun. But anyway, so this will be Monday. Um, and I'm excited about the tree. But I'll, um, you know, I'll probably do something else for Christmas in July as well. I just haven't decided as of what the church what church the church this church this one I just did so cute uh, something about the tree Sherry it's gonna be I'll do a class like I'll have a group where we all get in the group together and have fun and paint and all that stuff and we can put it together um, but it's I mean it's that's just what I'm offering as far as the tree, the class, the kit. You know, you get the kit and everything. Oh, thank you, Jane. But y'all, thank you. Look at my tree, my church. I thought somebody was asking about my church. Night patches. Thank you for watching, and thank y'all for watching too. Um, look at. I'm gonna go scrub my fingers with my nail brush to get all that off. Um, <laughs> thank you, Carrie. And I hope y'all try this. It's super easy. Well, it really wasn't. It wasn't as easy as I wanted it to be, but it was in the end. It was just getting all that right. Um, yes, yeah, Cindy, it will be. Hey, Denise. Yay, Chris. I'm so excited. So thank y'all for watching, and I will see y'all Monday. Monday. Monday, Monday. Y'all have a good weekend. I'm going to see the Elvis movie tomorrow night. Whoop, 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 whoop. It's going to be so good. I have to let y'all know how it is. Um, yes, thank you, Kay. Thank you, Wanda. Good night. Love y'all. Thank y'all for being here, supporting me, and I will see y'all Monday. Have a good, safe weekend. Stay cool. It's supposed to be hot. Bye, guys.